Hey guys, today I'm back again with another recipe and this one is Lomo Sotado. It is a Peruvian inspired dish and it's with a Asian flair or twist. And here's what you'll need. You will need some white vinegar, soy sauce, salt, garlic, black pepper, tomatoes, onion, sliced beef and what I've already did, I just sliced it myself and some french fries okay let's get started on this recipe. okay now what we're going to do is we're going to start our process of cutting the onions but let's go ahead now that the wok is heated up we're going to take our meat Now, if you think these are too thick, you can always slice them and make them a lot thinner. So, we're going to take our onion. Slice it down the middle. Hope you can see this. You always want to keep a trash bowl nearby just to so you don't have to um, run back and forth with the garbage. So now we are going to put that in there. Actually, we have it in here. Mm -hmm. And I have my french fries on, so you may see that in the corner a little bit, but I do have those on because this is, doesn't take very long to cook. We just want to brown our beef a little bit. And once it's brown, we will start adding all the other ingredients in. The tomatoes, of course, will be the last to go in. So let's go ahead and do our salt. Black pepper. And you know I will have this on my blog. You don't want to add too much salt because of the soy sauce that we'll be adding in in just a second. So we're going to let this brown hang out for a minute and we'll be back to add the other ingredients. Okay, I'm adding in my onions now. Like I said, the tomatoes will be the last thing to go in when the onions become translucent and soft it up. So we're just going to stir this in and continue to cook it on a medium low to a low. Okay, my tomatoes are added in and I just cut the stove off. We're going to let it rest for a minute and then we will okay, place it. Okay, so we're about to place this. I have my fries that I've taken out as you see and drain them of course. And we're just going to place our meat and onions. And the tomatoes, of course, right over there, just like that. Now, if you want to add some type of jalapeno peppers or chili peppers, feel free to go right ahead and do that. But since I'm serving this for my family and the kids really don't like the hotness of the peppers, of course. So, get a shot of it. And here it is. As always, I hope you try this. Have a great night.